going to be showing you guys my mini bedroom makeover. I feel like I've been talking about this for months. It was like our little mini quarantine project that we did together. And overall, the whole process of getting my room together took about a little bit over a month. I finally got most of the things that I was waiting for to finally film this video. I'm just going to stop rambling because you guys want to see the actual room and not me chat about the room. So let's get into it. So this area is pretty much the same. I changed a couple of things, but not anything drastic. As you can see, the top is a little bit different. I have this empty picture frame here because a picture of Kelsey and I is supposed to be in it, but I haven't had a chance to print it out yet, but that's what that's supposed to be. And then I just decided to add this white coffee table book, uh, a little candle here, and I still have this elephant here, but this is supposed to be a lamp in this space, but it's not here yet because Target decided to send me the wrong package, so I had to get them to reorder it. So. This is going to be a lamp. I'll probably show that in a later vlog or something in the future when it comes. And the bottom still has some books, as you guys can see, but it's way less books because I finally got a bookshelf in here. So I love, love how clean and airy and simple it looks here because at first, before I got the bookshelf, this was kind of overflowing and spilling off the sides. And now it looks like the proper amount of books. Okay, so this is the space that has the drastic change. This wall, Kelsey and I decided to paint. It was actually Kelsey's idea to paint the wall darker. I was actually just going to repaint it white and put the gallery wall on it. So Kelsey thought of the bright idea for us to do this really pretty like deep. I don't even know what to call this color because I looked hours and hours for this color because we were in restoration hardware looking for some curtains for me and one of the floors they had this really pretty like taupey brown color and I called later to ask them what color it was and they wouldn't even tell me what color it was. That's how exclusive the shade is at Restoration Hardware. Like that tone of like gray brown. So I just decided to find my own color and this is from Sherwin Williams. I found it online and then I went in the store to see what it looked like. So the color is not black, it's not gray, and it's not brown. It's kind of a hybrid of the three. At first we were looking for a taupe shade but taupe was going too gray for me. And my room doesn't have any gray tones in it so I wanted to keep it more on like the brown side. So sometimes it picks up brown, sometimes it picks up whatever color this is. So I still don't even know what to describe the color as, I just think it's really unique. And I decided to do this gallery wall, it took us forever to hang these because as you guys know, hanging a gallery wall is math and I didn't realize how complex it was until Kelsey and I did it. But I love the tones in this room now. I love that everything, all the furniture against this wall pops more. Like you can see everything 10 times more. So the lamps, the bed, the nightstands, everything just makes a bigger statement against this wall. So I love how it looks. My room feels a lot cozier. Because if you guys saw our house tour, my room was all white the entire room. The room was a little bit too sterile for me. So it felt very clinical, a little bit too much white going on as much as I love white. I also love dimension and I like, you know, different contrast of shades and tones. So for my bed, I decided to do all velvet pillows. I'm a huge fan of velvet. I just love how luxe and cozy it looks. And I had these two on the end before in my last like bed setup. So these two pillows I got from Amazon, I actually decided to get like this coffee tone color. This pillow cover actually inspired my room transformation. When I saw this, I was like, wait, I kind of want to change my room. Cause you guys know I had that rose pinky tone color on my bed before if you saw the house tour. So I decided to go for all neutral tone pillows and this color I think it was called coffee on Amazon and I love how pretty it looks with the other tones of the pillows. The one in the middle I already had before so I decided to keep that. So I think the contrast of like browns and the, this gold. This is supposed to be gold, but I feel like this is more of a champagne color. And I just like the look of velvet against the white. So all these tones against the white duvet cover. I love how it pops. This duvet cover is from Pottery Barn. So I just love how my bed looks now. It just looks very luxe and looks like, you know, a nice upgrade. This throw is from Restoration Hardware. This also kind of inspired my bed you know, makeover, because when I saw this throw, I was like, wait, I need some more brown tones on the bed. So this complements the pillows really well also. So I decided to change like my bed look before I even changed the whole room, because when I changed my pillows and stuff, I realized that it needed more, like the room needed more contrast. And that's when we decided to paint this wall and just brought everything together. 
So for my nightstands, I decided to do something a little different and I wanted to add a pop of color. And if you guys know me, you know that I'm not a huge fan of color. I like neutrals. I feel like color is just too much of a commitment and I get sick of it really fast. So I thought adding this really pretty like orange Louis Vuitton coffee table book would be a nice addition to my nightstands. And I actually saw this coffee table book on Pinterest and in the photo it had these two black and white frame pictures. So the gallery wall idea tied in with this orange coffee table book kind of confirmed that I was going in the right direction because I saw them together in that photo. And I love how this Louis Vuitton orange looks against this wall. And I just love how it makes everything else pop. Like I said, I like things to have contrast because it complements, you know, the opposite piece that you're looking at. So I think that the book makes the lamp pop even more and it also makes the nightstand pop even more. So, and if you guys can tell, these are the exact same lamps that I always had. I love these lamps, they're from Z Gallery. And I actually decided to change the lamp shade. This was one of the first things I did when I was thinking about making some changes to my room. These are like a rectangular, more boxy, like clean lines lampshade. And I got these from Lamp Plus. If you guys remember my old lampshades, they were actually round. So I thought that the rectangular look would look better with the bed because my bed has more clean, sharp lines. It's not rounded at all. So I do love the lampshade better with the lamp. I actually feel like this came with this lamp. It looks so much better than the round one. And I just decided to add these flowers. I actually had these flowers on my entryway table before and we just put them here just because I feel like it needed something else. But I didn't want to add anything else because I still wanted to keep it nice and clean and relatively minimal. Okay so this other addition to my room was very very essential because like I said the entryway table, I was running out of room at the bottom for my books. And I'm a book person. I know a lot of people like to read their books on Kindle or some kind of electronic, you know, device. It's nothing like a tangible book. I just feel like books are, you know, they just make me happy just actually turning the pages. So I'm a page turner kind of person. So I love books. I don't have a ton of books. I want a bookshelf so I can have room to add and for my book collection to grow. So the bookshelf for me was super important to get. I found this one from a store called Room and Board and I love the minimal classic clean simple lines. At first I was not going to do black. I actually was going to do like this clear like acrylic looking one with like gold trim but I felt like it really didn't pop against this wall and the ones that I kept finding I wasn't in love with them. So this one I found it was a great price and I feel like it actually looked 10 times better than my original idea. So I'm going to add more to this bookshelf. Right now it's just books and I just decided to add a couple candles to it. But eventually I wanted to do like something like decor, a decor piece at the very top because I like how bookshelves have like little knickknacks on them mixed in with the books. But I don't want to find anything just to put it on the bookshelf just for this video. I want to find things that I actually love. So I'm going to hold off on that but the bookshelf is finally here and I love it so much. At first I thought it was going to look a little cluttered in this space, but you guys know I used to have a side table where I'm standing so that's not here anymore. And I love that it still looks spacious and airy and when I walk by I don't feel like I'm going to like hit my foot or anything. So it still has like nice space around it so I loved it. Okay so this addition to my room I was really excited about because the gold side table that I had before didn't really go with the vibe that I was going for. And the key for me was to add more black into this room. And these two side tables from Anthropology just made like the biggest difference for me. I decided to move them on this side, like I said, because I wanted to keep that space there for, you know, the bookshelf area to be, you know, nice breezy area to walk by. And these, I love the skinny legs and I love how minimal it looks, but I love how cozy and like modern it looks. I love that it's nice contrast between the bed and the lampshades because those are like a more square rectangle lines and then the roundness of the tables give it something different. I love the gold accents. So this is actually a wood. The top part is wood material and it has like some really cool gold brass lines on it and I just love the trim. So I just love the contrast with black and brass. I think it looks really nice and I always wanted a nice side table section. I wasn't in love with my last one but this one I feel like it complements the rest of the room really nice. I still have room to add a coaster, 
put a glass down, cup of tea, whatever I need. And I like that it's two. So this looks like it came as a set, but I actually bought them separately. You can buy each table individually if you want one, but they look better together to me. So I decided to get both. And I love the levels as well. So I love that the smaller one is tall and then the bigger one is shorter. So I love that. Okay, so this compass with this vase, I decided to add because even though the green plant did add like a nice pop of greenery into the room, Again, it didn't go with the vibe that I was going for. And I thought compass would be a nice addition just because I thought it looked more airy and peaceful. It's something about compass is very calming to me. And it went really well with my TV area because for me, when I'm sitting here, everything on this wall has to look visually pleasing together. So I thought that the compass added like a nice touch and it ties in everything really nicely with, you know, my TV and the full length mirror on the other side. My full length mirror, I feel like complements the pompous even more because I love brass and the color of pompous together. Okay, so for my curtains, I originally wanted to do a peanut butter, like tan color, but the color that they had at Restoration Hardware, they don't even sell that color anymore. So I don't know why they had like the sample of it up. So I went with my second choice, which was black. And I actually like the black better because I feel like it ties in like my new black addition really well. So these are velvet, like my last set of curtains were. I love velvet. I think that they add like a nice soft touch to a bedroom. And I think they're a nice bedroom fabric for a curtain. Because I also love linen, but I feel like linen is really nice for like a more like public space, like a living room. So I love how soft and, but like still bold they look in here. These are extremely long and I just love how like grand they look because the ceilings in here are extremely high. So I knew that I would be able to pull off black curtains in here because in certain rooms, black curtains will probably take away from the space, but I feel like they add to this space. Okay guys, so that wraps up my updated room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found some new ideas that you might want to add to your own bedrooms. And I'm just so happy with this space. I feel like it's more me. I feel like there's more interesting things to look at in this room now and it feels more complete for me. If you guys are interested in any of the things that I mentioned today, I'll try my best to find links to them in the description box below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.